All right, guys, I want to talk to you what to do for part three of the project. And part three of the project, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your places in order that you're going to visit. So you can put your order of places to visit. So let's say, for example, here, let's say these are my five places I chose. I Forbidden City, Great Wall of China, Temple of Heaven, Great Wild Goose Pagoda, and Terracotta Army. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in order that I'm going to visit them in. Now, Forbidden City, Great Wall of China, and Temple of Heaven are all in the city of Beijing, while the Giant Wild Goose Pagoda and Terracotta Army are both in Xi'an. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to visit these places first because they're in Beijing, and then I'm going to go to these two places because they're in Xi'an. All right. So you're kind of going to visit places that are together. Now, let's say, for example, that in my order, for some odd reason, I had it like this. I, I had Forbidden City, Giant Wild Goose Pagoda, Terracotta Army, then Great Wall of China, and then Temple of Heaven. Uh, then that's all kind of screwed up, right? Because you're not visiting things in the order that you would visit stuff in. It's like going to, hey, I'm going to go to Annapolis, and then I'm going to go to Louisville, and then I'm going to go to Columbus, and then I'm going to go to Fort Wayne. It's like, whoa, 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 that, that, that's all screwed up. Like, why don't you go Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, Columbus, Louisville, right? So if you have your order all kind of screwed up, make sure you kind of put it in the order that you are going to visit them in, right? So the order that kind of makes sense. So make sure you put it into the correct order, all right? So visit places that are kind of by each other and then go out from there. All right, next thing. So next thing you have is your rental car, okay? So the next thing you do, you need to rent a car. And for your rental car, you need to find the company name that you're going to rent from, the car name, and the cost. Um, so let's say, for example, what I've been seeing a lot of people use for this one has been kayak.com. That's what I've seen most people been using. So you just type in the airport you're going to use, PEK. All right, so remember Beijing, PEK. Uh, pick a week time span. All right, so you pick a week time span. Then start. Whoops. That's not the button I want. Not this. want this button. That's an ad. So you click your little search button there, and there you go. So there's a car, there is the company name. And then if you click on the car name, it might give you a car. You might have to click on a couple of these to find like an exact like car name. So you see how you have like an exact car name here. So you might have to scroll down until you find like an exact car name. Okay. And then you make sure you write down the cost. All right. So you make sure you write down the cost. Make sure it costs both in USD and CNY. So make sure it's in both. Just like we've been doing. So make sure it's in both. Then after you've done that, next thing to do is hotels. Yes, you need a hotel from each night. So we're going to do uh, six nights of stay. So five places we're visiting, we're visiting uh, six nights of stay. So, you know, we're flying into Beijing. So start with Beijing first because that's where we're flying at. So, you know, you'll probably stay a night before you go out there in your places. So what I would just type in is just Beijing hotels. And then you just find a hotel you want. Pretty simple. Uh, then you can use the same hotel. Uh, like if you're in Beijing for like two days in a row. You can use the same hotel for two days. That's fine. Just make sure that you do the cost correctly. So just make sure the cost is then for two days, not one day. Don't be like, hey, uh, I'm going to stay in this Beijing hotel for $96 over a course of two days. Is it? Like, whoa, 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 no. That's 96 times by two because it's 96 per night. So you got times it out by, you know, how many days you're going to be there. So make sure that's included. Um, so, yeah, you can do Beijing. And then once you got to know those places, then go to your next city again. Then find hotels in the next area that you want to stay in. All right, so forth and so on. Pretty simple. So make sure you kind of do your hotels there. I kind of gave an example there. So again, you write down, hey, I'm seeing in Forbidden City. I'm going to stay at this hotel and here. Uh, you might also, instead of writing down, so you can do your location name and then the name of the hotel, or you can do like the city name, uh, Beijing, and then you would just have Fairmount Beijing Hotel. Bam, there's my cost then, okay? So you can do it that way as well. So either the location name or the city name for the hotel, then the name of the hotel, and then your cost. Okay. So location or city name, the city slash location name, the name of hotel, and then the cost. Okay. Cost is in USC and CY. Uh, total cost. Total cost. You're gonna add. You're gonna have your air flight costs, your tours, your rental car, your hotels. You're going to add everything together and you're going to put that here in both USD and CNY. All right. And that will finish off uh, part number three. Now, I have two other slides here that you can do for extra credit. Um, the first one is total distance, total time. 
and distance and time. So what this one is saying is I want you to find the distance and time in between each one of your locations. So if I go to Forbidden City first, and then I'm going to go to the Great Wall of China, I want to find the time and the distance. Distance you can do in miles or kilometers, either one. All right, so you're going to find your, your distance and time between each one of your locations, and then you're going to add that all up for your total distance and your total time. Okay? But that's for extra credit. And then finally, your last one for extra credit is writing out your six sentences. So six sentences per each location in which you're going to tell me six sentences about it. Uh, pretty simple. And again, that will be for extra credit. So those are two things you got there for extra credit that you can do. So you have total distance, total time, your distance of time between each location and the total distance, total time, and then your six sentences. And then when you're running your six sentences, the easiest way not to plagiarize is to read about your place, minimize the website, and then write it into your own words. All right. Uh, well, that's it for part three of the directions for the project.